Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back, and I am coming at you from behind the couch in the super spinny chair. Uh, <laughs> oh we are Lord. here with another Ruby Tuesday. As always, I am Mike Addison Salyer, joined by my stoic elder sibling, Caleb, in the other spinny chair. <laughs> and on the couch in front of me, of course, uh, Nathan Hamilton and Professor Benjamin Tolliver. <laughs> and I think that's pretty much got it, so yeah. we're going to get this started. Okay, so uh, we got episodes eleven and twelve queued up here. Shall we get right. going? Let's do this Ruby, thing. Ruby, Ruby, <laughs> I, Ruby. I feel like periodically we should introduce everyone again because there yeah. might be some new oh, people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I agree with that. You know, our nearly twenty thousand yeah subscribers. Yeah, some yeah. of them might some of them might be new friends. Uh, yeah, twenty thousand subs. That's a big number. Just like that. That's okay. a big number. Here we go. And do the thing. Doing the thing. We're doing it. John, what's wrong, my brother? You look tired. <laughs> oh, Lord. He's a natural. Oh. Oh, you with the mace. And suddenly he's playing Bloodborne. This is the part where you lose. Over my dead. Oh. Not okay. That's enough. Students, as you can see, Mr. Ark's aura has now dropped into the red. In a tournament-style duel, this would indicate that John is no longer fit for battle and that the official may call the match. Mr. Ark, it's been weeks now. Please try to refer to your scroll during combat. Gauging your aura will help you decide when it is appropriate to attack or when it is better to move to a more defensive strategy. We wouldn't want you to be gobbled up by a Beowulf, now would we? Speak for yourself. Remember, Cold everyone, ice. the Vital Festival is only a oh, few months sacrifice. away. It won't be long before students from the other kingdoms start arriving in Vale, so keep practicing. Those who choose to compete in the combat tournament will be representing all of the Vale. Like, you know, if they want him to check that so often, do you think they could give him, like, a heads-up display? Like, I don't know. I know, right? Scouter so, or something? <laughs> there we were, in the middle or, or of the Or at least a wrist net. thing. Yeah, it you know. Day. Give, we give that man a pit boy. We by Earth's side. They were Beowulves. Dozens of them! Two of them. But they were no match. <laughs> and in the end, Ren and I took them down and made a boatload of Lian selling Earth's skin rugs. <sighs> She's been having this recurring dream for nearly a month now. John, are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. No. Why? It's just that you seem a little not okay. <laughs> I mean, that sums it up. Guys, I'm yeah. fine. Seriously. Look. <laughs> Duh, uh, mm. Jean, Cardin has been picking on you since the first week of school. Uh, who? Cardin Winchester? Nah. He just likes to mess around, you know? Practical jokes. He's a bully. Yeah, it's... Oh, please. Name one time he's bullied me. <laughs> no, no, come on! Huh? Ah. Oh, that's... Oh, come on! That's awkward. Yeah. Each of you will be assigned one rocket-propelled locker to store your weapons and extra armor. Additionally, Rocket, your locker uh, can be sent to a custom location locker. based on a six-digit code. What? No, wait, wait, Please don't, don't, don't. That's only five beeps. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't land far from the school. Jean, you know if you ever uh. need help, you can just ask. Oh! We'll break his legs! Guys, we I mean that's effective. Besides, Primitive. It's not like but he's effective. only a jerk to me. Yeah. He's a jerk to everyone. <laughs> Ow, that hurts! <laughs> Over ears, man. Please Why would you stop? <laughs> that's not a hat. I told no. you it was real. There are people what a freak. Have, have, uh, Guys, animal, animal uh, parts such as ears and Atrocious. tails. Atrocious. I can't stand people like him. He's not the only one. It must be hard to be a faunus. Well, and that's one. 
<laughs> that's part one. That's really short. Of course it is. All right. Imagine that. Imagine imagine waiting. Imagine waiting all week and then getting that. Yeah. I... Okay. And we got episode two queued up here. And wow. Listen. Yes, prior to the Faunus Rights Revolution, more popular known as the Faunus War, humankind was quite, quite adamant about centralizing Faunus population in Menagerie. Now, while too much, cat- much <laughs> coffee. Dude, this is tight. I was going to say, usually the history teacher's boring in, in anime. I, I, start saying, I think he's my new favorite teacher. <laughs> he, his now, shoes are mismatched. Have any among you been subjugated or discriminated in the of your father's heritage? I mean, how often do you really look at a man's shoes? Dreadful, simply dreadful. Remember, students, it is precisely this kind of ignorance that breeds violence. I mean, I mean, I mean, just look at what happened to the White Fang. Now, which one of you young scholars can tell me what many theorists believe to be the turning point in the third year of the war? Yes. The battle at Fort Castle. Precisely. And who can tell me the advantage the Faunus had over General Lagoon's forces? Hey. Mr. Art, finally <laughs> contributing to class. This is excellent, excellent. What is the answer? <gasps> uh... <laughs> the answer. Who is voicing the professor? The Joel Heyman. It uh, is boss. Joel. <laughs> Caboose. Over that guy's stuff. Uh, binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. I mean, she tried. Very funny, Mr. Ark. Cotton, perhaps you would care to share your thoughts on the subject. Well, I know it's a lot easier to train an animal than a soldier. You're not the most open-minded of individuals, are you, Cardin? What? You got a problem? No, I have the answer. It's night vision. Many faunas are known to have nearly perfect sight in the dark. General Legume was inexperienced and made the mistake of trying to ambush the faunas in their sleep. Oh, that's a His bad massive move. army was outmatched and the general was That's captured. a lot of coffee. Perhaps if he paid coffee. attention in class, he wouldn't have been remembered as such a failure. <laughs> Mr. Winchester, please oh. take your seat. <laughs> you and Mr. Ark could both see me after class for additional readings. Oh. Now, moving on. He's so fast. Joel. You go on ahead. I'll wait for Jean. You two have been struggling in my class since day one. Now, I don't know if it's a lack of interest or just your stubborn nature, but whatever it is, it stops now. His... You've worked hard to gain entrance to the school, is, and we only It's so weird the seeing Joel in any kind so, of serious role. I expect you to act like he... it. Everything is back. One side is tucked in, his little, his from it. His yep. little sh- sleeve You're bands. destined to repeat it. Pages one 51 to 91, I want an essay on my desk by next class. Now, run along. I'd be willing to bet that his <laughs> eyes are different colors. It's a green blur. Yeah. Huh. Ah, you know, I really will break his legs. <sighs> Girl. I, I Girl saw a here. jerk. Here, Said they were gonna break his legs. Uh, he was a dumbass. Kick his ass. <laughs> like, I don't sound mean, but Pierre's way too good for him. I mean. Pira, I think Pira, I know I'm going through a hard time right now, but I'm not that of, like, depressed. I can always be a <laughs> farmer. <laughs> oh, please don't push him. No! That's not why I brought you up here. Jean, I know D- you're having uh, a difficult time in class. Uh, oh, Uh-oh. And that you're still oh, not the strongest of fighters, so I want to help you. What? We can train up here after class where no one can bother us. About You that. think I need help? No, no, that's not what I meant. But you just said it. You John, totally need help. <laughs> everybody needs a little push from time to time. It doesn't Please make just you don't, any different. Don't from let the it be rest off the us. roof. <laughs> you made it to Beacon. That speaks volumes of what you're capable of. You're wrong. I, I don't belong here. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. No, I don't. I wasn't really accepted into Beacon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm. The plot. Thickens. What do you mean? I mean, I didn't go to combat school. I didn't pass any tests. I didn't earn my spot at this academy. I lied. 
I got my hands on some fake transcripts, and I lied. What? But why? Because this is what I've always wanted to be. And my father, my grandfather, and his father before him were all warriors. Yep. If you want to do that, why wouldn't you go to combat I school? To be one too. <laughs> you might not have been able <laughs> to afford it. yourself I was for just it. Probably not be able to afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Then let me help you. I don't want help. I don't want to be the damsel in distress. I want to be the hero. John, I I'm tired of being the lovable idiot stuck in the tree while his friends fight for their lives. Don't you understand? If I can't do this on my own, then what good am I? You gotta crawl before you can Dude, walk, man. Just leave me alone. You're in trouble. Okay? You gotta crawl before you can if walk. If that's man. what you think is best. Jesus. Dude, she was... I told you guys bruh. she was way too good for him. She was trying to help. Now, here's the problem, though. There it is. Oh, well, John. Of course. Sam has been dropping Cardiff. leaves. I couldn't help but overhear you two from my dorm room. So, you snuck into Beacon, huh? I gotta say, John, I never expected you to be such a rebel. Please, Cardin, please don't tell anyone. John, come on. I'd never rat at a friend like that. A friend? A friend? Of <laughs> course. We're friends now, Johnny boy. And the way I see it, as long as you're there for me when I need you, we'll be friends for a long time. <laughs> that being said, I really don't have time to do those extra readings Dr. Ubuck gave us today. Think you could take care of that for me, buddy? Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. Mm, that's yeah, what I, I too. thought. Don't worry, Jean. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, we're just going to climb back down the way we So there's some stairs there. That's a problem. I was going to say, hey, John, John, what you doing, man? Come on. You stupid. Okay, look. I mean, it's not like it's not like this is just like, you know, a Jeez. college or something where you can fail. I mean, they're kind of training to fight monsters. Yeah, so. So that's it's a kind of fail? an important that's, thing. That's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Like, like bloody murder on the line. Ugh. Okay. So, John, John, I don't, I don't know what. To make of him sometimes. Wait, but he got made the team captain, right? Yeah, he yeah. got made team captain. I mean, there there must have been a reason for that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can't really figure it out because he didn't really do a whole lot in the. Well, trials, he did. But... Well, he did. He, he did show pretty good leadership skills when they were fighting the scorpion. Remember, he was the one that told them how to how to. He told them what formation to take and everything to to take its tail off and okay. kill it. I mean, yeah, he's got tactical awareness, which is definitely useful. But in terms of fighting head to head, we've seen he's not that good. Well, I mean, you don't necessarily have to be a good fighter to be a good general. No, you, well, you don't. But it helps. But, but it helps. Is, it, well, let me ask you. Well, I mean, you they're this, working in teams of four, so me, it's not like I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's not like it's not like you can command a, it's a not load like, of troops. It's not like big yeah, picture but, stuff. You know, I mean, squad squad I mean, management is definitely a useful thing to know. I mean, and honestly, he seems to. He seems to have a grasp on that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Although I'm... Uh, <laughs> why would you do... He's I mean, screwed. He uh, He's he's in a bad way. At least he's got Pyrrha there. I mean, because she's... Well, except for the Pyrrha. fact that he just sort of, you know, Told pushed her, her away. away. She's still going to take care of him. I mean... He's achieved like ultimate trophy husband status. I know. Like, he, he's my hero. <laughs> it's his hair. It's his like, hair. I don't it's know what you're talking about. They always have spiky hair. It's the hair. It, it's. I mean, honestly, Micah, spike your hair up, man. You can be a trophy husband. I don't think that's how it works, guys. <laughs> Tro trophy husband or trophy Saiyan? Let's be. F you've seen the Kraken. Just yes. That yes. would be kind of awesome. That would, that would be kind of awesome, Micah. Why aren't you we doing need to this? Do that like like a like a emo bash the stampede. <laughs> I'd be okay. We could like get one of those inversion tables, so my hair like hangs up. And you could like hairspray it. <laughs> yeah. So it'll stick up. Just, I think at this point we're gonna have to use like industrial grade lacquer, DBZ <laughs> style. I mean, you know, sacrifice. Oh. Gosh. Sometimes it's required. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But <laughs> that's we're gonna have to chisel chisel that stuff out of your hair. Lord. How did this? How do we get here? I have no idea. Do, I never know. <laughs> What are we doing with our lives? We're having fun. Yeah. That's a word. That's yeah. a word for it. Yeah. All, All right. right. So this was Jaundice part one and two of this Ruby Tuesday. Um, 
I think that's got it this time. Uh, we appreciate everyone joining us, and uh, hopefully we will see you all again soon. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.